Okay, today I'm changing the oil on an Arxen 3600 watt inverter generator. So, first thing I need to do is warm it up and then change the oil. So I'm gonna turn it to run, start. And I'm gonna run it for about 15 minutes. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the two covers. Two screws push down and the covers come off. Okay, and now to drain the oil out, which I've already done, you basically have to tilt the entire generator and let the oil drain out of the fill plug. And it's not easy. This generator is about 80 pounds. So what I'm gonna do is brace my knee against it. And then you basically tilt it like this, drain mm -hmm. all the oil out. You got more coming out. And put it back. So let's see if I can get just a little bit more. Quite a bit coming, quite a bit. Quite a bit, still coming. So when you drain oil out in this fashion, you're only gonna get about 95%. That's why you roughly every 100 hours or maybe a little less change the oil on these things. They only hold a little bit more than a quart of oil and your best bet is to just change it out all the time. There is no oil filter, nothing in there to clean the oil in any way. So now I'm gonna work on getting this cleaned up and because oil spilled all over, I am going to use I'm going to put the fill plug back in and I'm going to use just a little bit of brake fluid to clean some of this mess up before I put the cover back on or before I add the oil back in. Now you really want to avoid using brake cleaner on painted surfaces, but this is all plastic. It's not going to hurt it at all. Okay, so now I'm going to take the now I'm going to take the fill plug out, and I'm going to put the funnel in there, and I'm going to add oil. And since I'm not exactly sure the exact oil level, I'm going to add about two thirds of a quart and I'm gonna stop and check. And the same thing, we're using Shell Rotella Synthetic 540. And instead of pouring it in from the gallon container because it's harder to control, I have an empty quart that I use to fill and pour from so I have a lot more control over how much I'm putting in there. Just a little trick. I learned that a long time ago when you're using adding oil to small engines and you're getting a good deal on buying a gallon. Uh, it's easier to just work from a quart. Okay so I'm going to check. I can see oil in there but it is not quite up to the level of where the dipstick is going to touch, so I'm going to add some more. Okay, now I'm going to reposition the generator just slightly so that we are very close to level and that is very close to level more so than it was a minute ago okay same thing I'm gonna check
By the way, I forgot to mention, I wear safety goggles because you never know what you're going to get in your eyeballs, and you only get one pair. And it looks like we still need to add a little more. So now I'm getting very close to... I started out with about four-fifths of a quart of oil. Okay, now I've got to the point where I can see the oil up there in the neck. It's very close to the dipstick. And as you can see, the dipstick on this is very, very short. It's very close to the end of the cap. So first thing I'm going to do before I put this back in is I'm going to make sure that this is very clean and dry. I want to make sure that that check level with the checkering is really dry so that it will pick up the oil really well and make it easy to see, hopefully. If we do this right, it'll be easy to see. Always, when you're using a plastic cap like this, be careful and don't cross-thread it. If you cross-thread it one time, that's it. It'll never go back in correctly ever again. And you'll be buying a new one, unless you want an oil leak. And as you can see, we are still not registering on the stick at all. So, we're going to continue to add a little bit more. It's going to be very close now. Same thing, it's still clean from the last time, so I'm going to put the dipstick back in, tighten it down. And we're still not actually registering on the stick, so we need a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to need to add a little more to the clip. And this is where Sue will hit it up. <laughs> Speed it up. Okay, now you can see we're just touching the bottom of the dipstick. We still need to add just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to warm this up and see if the heated up oil and the heated parts inside the engine bring the oil level up just a tiny bit. Okay, and I can feel from where the oil is that that is indeed warm. So now, when I check the oil, I should get a pretty accurate reading. Okay, we still are not quite on the dipstick, so we're going to add that last little bit of oil. Okay, we're very close. As you can see, we need just a little bit more. Not very much. Maybe about 
three quarters of an ounce. Okay, that should do it. Okay, and there it is. We've got a perfect level. Make sure we get that back on snug. We're gonna put our two side covers back on. Side covers go in and then up. And of course, we drop both of our screws in the oil. Murphy's Law. Okay, now to do the cover on the other side. Same thing, it's gonna go up, in, and screws tighten. Okay, other than cleaning up the mess, that's it. That's what's involved with changing the oil on an Arxen 3600 generator. And it ended up taking exactly one quart of oil. Okay, thank you very much. And like, share, and subscribe.